What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and I have some major, major news for global players today. Of course, as often is the case, this comes courtesy of a tweet from Team Doker on Twitter and it tells us two things. Number one, the double rate Rising Dragon Carnival banner is dropping tomorrow. So if you guys are interested in hunting for some LRs, then that's the place to do it. But number two, and the thing that we really care about is this. Next week, there will probably be a major celebration on Global, equivalent to the Tanabata celebration on JP. Now, I don't, I don't know if I said that correctly. My bad if I mispronounced it, but um, if you guys aren't aware why I'm so excited about this, it's because this is a celebration that brought tech full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku to JP. And I'm not saying that's going to be the exact same thing on Global. They could always change things around, maybe make it another Dokkan Fest or something, but... It's possible that if things stay the same, then Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku is coming to Global as early as next week, or maybe a week and a half, two weeks, depending on when they drop the banner after the celebration starts. But it could be happening very, very soon, which is why I am extra excited, because he is such an amazing character, such a, such a cool card. I'm sure a lot of you are hyped about him as well. Only issue is if this is happening, then a lot of us will probably be very short on stone since Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta just came. A lot of people probably wailed out on that. And uh, keep in mind, there's also very, very hype celebrations happening in December. There's going to be the movie Broly banner that's happening on both JP and Global. There's also going to be Christmas. Um, so, I don't know. This could be kind of a trap banner to steal our stones before that happens. But um, I just want to let you guys know that's going to be a thing. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku possibly dropping on Global very soon. And of course, this whole celebration is happening as well. Now, the next thing I want to do is give you guys an idea of what you can expect from this Tanabata celebration. Again, pronunciation, not really sure. But uh, let's quickly go over to this post from Koala-san on Twitter. And he made this post when the celebration started on JP, I believe or around that time possibly, I don't really know, but this is a breakdown of all the events that happened on JP when the Tanabata celebration started. So here we go. The Tanabata, Tanabata campaign has started. Two separate Dokkan Fests will appear during this campaign. In the Dokkan Fest that starts on July 1st, Sunday, full, super full power Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan 4 Goku will appear. Other than him, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron will be featured characters, so it was a really good banner. If you guys didn't don't have Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, it's a very valuable banner. There's like really, really good characters on it. On top of that, the Tanabata celebration or Dokkan Fest that starts on July 7th will feature LR Goku and Vegeta and LR Goku Angel and, and Vegeta Angel. So, Aside from the potential of Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku, this will also be the first return of LR Gogeta and LR Vegito to Global potentially if they keep things the same. And for those of you who want dupes or weren't able to pull them at all during the third year anniversary, this is another chance to pull them potentially. Now, the banner was a little bit iffy and we'll get to that in a second, but um, this is probably going to be their first return to Global. Okay. Um, what else is there going to be? What else is there going to be? Okay, no Super Saiyan 4 full power Goku will also be available in the Tanabata Dokkan Fest, but with a lower rate than the July 1st Dokkan Fest. There is also the Witch Strip Treasure Item and Purunga Dragon Ball Campaign. So those two things are really exciting too. I'll get to those in a second. Enjoy this amazing campaign and enjoy Tanabata. Okay, number one, login bonuses. So, you know, some free stones, some uh, free orbs, other things like that. Missions, more more stones, more orbs, more Kai's, all those things. Dokkan Fest. Okay, this is the Dokkan Fest for Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku. Now, if they keep things the same, then it will be him, but they could change it for... I could see it happening that they want to release Future Gohan first, so maybe we'll get Future Gohan instead of Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku. Like I said, I don't have much information about it, but this is what happened on JP. Number four is the Tanabata Dokkan Fest. Uh, wasn't that just a Dokkan Fest? Right? Oh, okay, no. The Tanabata Dokkan Fest happens a week after the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku was released. And this one featured Super Saiyan 4 Goku as well, but with a lower rate than his original banner, as well as LR Goku, uh, LR Goku and Vegeta, and LR Angel Goku and Vegeta. And uh, thing, thing is, okay, this banner seems like it's amazing because it had really, really strong featured characters, but it had a lot of features, first of all, like a ton of features. And I also heard, I'm not sure if this is confirmed, but I've heard that the overall rate for SSRs on this banner was reduced. So it was something like, 
a 5% rate for featured units versus a regular, uh, no, it was a 3% chance. I believe they said it was a 3% chance for featured units versus a 5% chance, which is what the normal featured rate is. So I can't confirm that, but a lot of people did say that this is a really bad banner in terms of rates, but it had really good characters. So it's kind of up to you whether or not you want to risk that, but um, just fair warning on that. Super Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball, Super Dragon Stone sale, so expect a lot of good sales for the celebration. The new Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku Dokkan event. Purunga Dragon Balls. Purunga Dragon Balls are back, so basically we'll get to make more, three more sets of wishes, and um, every day we'll be able to collect one Dragon Ball and get a ton of orbs from it. Uh, Kai's uh, Incredible Gems, whatever you decide to wish for. There's going to be seven wishes, and I believe a new wish for uh, the wish strips as well, possibly. I don't really remember, but... Um, yeah, that's gonna be a thing. Purunga is always a good thing because it gives us a lot of resources in this game. And of course, your boy Tiger is gonna keep you guys updated on how to get each Dragon Ball every single day. So keep an eye out for that video or those videos in the near future. What else? Okay, so exchange each wish trip. Wish trip, exchange each wish trip, trader item for a character out of a pool of 77. So if you guys don't know what this is, basically they're their new items that allow us to exchange that we can exchange for a pool of 77 characters so you get to get one character for each wish strip that we can get so these are all the ways that they could get the seven wish strips on JP uh, they got two for just logging in one for using the Pippi Gals category one for getting using a thousand stamina one for using two thousand stamina and two from Purunga wishes okay and as far, far as the character list goes these are all the characters there are very solid characters in this pool, but none of them are super top tier, so it's not going to be like 120 leads or category leads or anything like that. But still, there are some very, very solid characters in this pool. I'm just going to quickly scroll down, and you guys can take a look for yourselves. I'm not really going to touch on them or anything like that. Here we go. Lots of SDR characters. There's the physical ones, and that's pretty much it, guys. Those are all the characters they can choose. And like I said, you can uh, exchange one strip for one character and you'll get to have seven chances to get these characters so there you have it. you guys are missing some of them then this might be a good chance to pick up the ones that you're missing so let's go back now to the other page all right so those are the wish trips number nine we have a new gt story event uh four ssrs can be obtained i don't really remember what that event was return of the gt black star db sega event uh fourth dokkan fest uh, dokkan battlefield 2.0 so for this one um, I guess when the celebration comes to global, we'll get a second. It will be our second Battlefield or virtual Dokkan event. So uh, we'll be able to get more of those Battlefield jewels and some other stones, good stuff. So, yo, I'm totally down for that. Number 12, all Dokkan events are available during the campaign period. Cool. Return of the GT Baby Saga story event. Return of the GT Baby Saga finale story event. So all the GT events are pretty much back. 10-time uh, SSR Elder Kai gotcha. So this is going to be the Elder Kai banner. I believe it is 10 Elder Kais for 50 stones. So if you guys are really low on the Kais, then you can go for it. But I wouldn't really recommend it because we get so many Grand Kais from the Purungo Dragon Ball campaign that hopefully you won't need it. Um, and also save your stones, man. Like, there's just so much hype on the way that, you know, you don't want to be short on stones when, like, Broly, movie Broly comes or Christmas Banner comes. Okay, uh, number 16, we have Extreme Dokkan Fest. So, Extreme as an easy... Oh, okay, so this, I believe, was Easy A Ultimate Gohan. And uh, number 17, we have Majin Buu Arc Category Gacha. So, this is going to be one of those category banners with, like units in the Majin Buu category, but none of them are that good. I, I usually recommend skipping these banners as well. Number 18, we have Ultimate Gohan Extreme Z Battle. Okay, there we go. So possibly Ultimate Gohan, it's gonna be the next Extreme Z Battle on Global if they keep it the same as JP. Super Battle Road is available every single day during the campaign period. Uh, number 20 is Return of the Super Rebrian event. Number 21 is Returns of a Return of the Great Saiyan event. And number 22, three times EXP in quest mode. So that's really all the information about the Tanabata campaign that's potentially coming to global next week, as early as next week, and possibly bring with it um, Super Saiyan 4 full power Goku. Now, like I said, I don't know if that's happening. Don't don't you know go out there and say, oh, Tiger said that Super Saiyan 4 Goku is coming because I'm not 100% sure. I'm just saying that if they keep it the same as JP, then yeah, he's coming. So... <laughs> That's all the information I have for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are hyped, if you guys are excited. Get ready for the celebration. And um, I don't know. Like, 
I feel like I want to tell people to save their stones, but at the same time, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is super hype, and I know that some of you won't be able to control yourselves. So if you're going to summon on this upcoming Dokkan Fest, whatever it may be, Future Gohan, um, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, whatever it may be, don't go too hard because we know, we know that Movie Broly banner is coming. It's going to be a huge celebration. Christmas is going to be huge. So uh, just, you know, just, just budget yourself stones a little bit. Control, have some self-control. And I wish everyone the best of luck in their future summons and all those good things. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you're most excited about. What you guys think is going to happen. Do you think it's going to be Super Saiyan 4 Goku? Is it going to be something else? I don't really know, but we should be able to expect... LR Go Gogeta and LR Vegito for sure in some kind of Tanabata style banner um, if it's not Super Saiyan 4 full power Goku. But anyways, that's all from me guys. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also, when you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all from me guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.